All right, so today is gonna be a little bit of an experiment day. Um, I have a Goal Zero Yeti 1000 lithium ion battery bank. Um, I've been using it for about three weeks without any sort of power source plugged into it. Been using it to charge my phone pretty much every day. A um, couple times charge camera batteries, both for the GoPro here and for my, my uh, Canon DSLR. Um, I've charged my computer about one and a half times on it. Um, and then a few, a few little other things like my, my bike lights and stuff. Um, so I've been doing that for three weeks and I'm, I've run it down to about 47% from full. Um, so it's pretty awesome how long I've, I've gotten to use this, but I'm at the point where I want to, I want to plug it in and I want to have a, a consistent charge to it. So I am going to today install my 160 watt, uh, Renogy solar panel. I'm going to put it up on the roof. I've got to rig, rig up some sort of system to, um, attach it up there. I'm actually, I'm pretty sure that the, uh, the hardware that mounts my, my cargo box that I have up top, um, will work. They, they don't both fit on, on the roof of this car. Um, so I can only do one or the other, but I think I can, I can, uh, rig up the, the solar panel with the, the cargo box, uh, mounting hardware. Um, we'll see, see how that goes. Um, and gonna see how long it takes parked out in the sunlight to charge from 47% back up to full. Uh, hopefully it'll all happen in one day, but I don't really know. That's hence the experiment. Um, but it'll be interesting to see what 160 watts does in a day. Whatever I do, I'm going to try my best to park in the sun um, so we can get a sort of rough estimate of how uh, how long it's going to take to charge up on 160 watts. So here we go. Let's, let's uh, install it. this works out to uh, mount the solar panel with the hardware for this because if not I just took this off for nothing. All right first minor roadblock here some of that hardware is not working out but uh, I was able to use what I have to get a better idea of what I need. So now I'm headed over to Home Depot to find the right size stuff. Fortunately, Home Depot is right across the street. Um, so if I have to take a couple trips over there, then uh, it's not a huge, uh, not a huge loss of time or anything. But um, so now I, I need to get some uh, shorter bolts. Um, these are these are my bolts. I need one that's like this is like three inches. I need one that's like one and a half or one and three quarters. Um, and then I'm hoping to get some wing nuts instead of these lock nuts so that it's easy to cinch them down up top. Hopefully, I'll be able to show you guys what I mean by that in a second here. So if all goes to plan, here's how it works. This little metal piece here uh, will loop around the, uh, the rack on the element, the roof rack. And uh, when I cinch it down, everything will be pulled in nice and tight there. And the roof rack will just go right in through there. And then with the wing nuts up there, I can pull in nice and tight so that it's firm and secure. And I'm gonna do that um, on both the left and right side at the front and the back. Hit a little bit of a roadblock here. Um, let's see if I can get this in here. I got the wing nuts back there, um, and the plan was to just tighten it with the wing nuts. But when you try to turn it, it hits that sidewall there. So I'm not going to be able to use the wing nuts, and we have to go with regular nuts. Um, I've done this method before, is how I mounted solar panel to my van, and uh, it takes forever because there's not any space in here. Um, so you're you're doing like a 
you know, an eighth of a turn with a wrench at a time. Um, so I'm not looking forward to this. It's going to be a pain in the butt. Uh, but that's where I'm at and that's all I've got. So. Okay, so now we're on to kind of the sucky part uh, where there's not very much space. I'm going to squeeze the camera underneath the... Uh, and you can see it's pretty tight in here. And what I have to do is go in and tighten each of these, but it's just no no room to work. And i got to get in there with this little tiny wrench and tighten them all down so that the solar panel is secure. So this one's pretty much done. I'll probably, I'll probably do a circle and then a second circle around. Um, and then we'll have an installed or a mounted solar panel and then I just got to plug it in. Okay, um, I got kicked out of the place that I was doing this because it was at my storage unit and the guy came around and said can't do projects at the storage unit. Um, not a big deal, but that's it right there and I'm just across the street from it. Um, but I have an installed solar panel. Hopefully you can see it's pretty sturdy. Um, any like flexing and giving that you're seeing is uh, just the natural bow of, of the uh, crossbars on the roof rack here. Um, but it's pretty darn sturdy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plug it in just so I can see um, that it's working and everything. And then might wait till tomorrow to actually start the experiment here. All right, just a little test fit. And that blue light right there means that we have power coming in. Over here it looks like we're only registering 14 watts right now, but there's a cloud overhead. I'm gonna unplug it and get these wires sorted out and uh, probably do the actual test tomorrow. All right, it is a new day now. And uh, we're looking like we're gonna have some pretty good sun today, so I'm gonna plug in the solar panel. And I'm actually uh, going to my first day of work here, so I don't know how, how much I'll be able to check on it to, to see when it's fully charged, but I'm gonna plug it in and, and see what happens. All right, so the official drain level is 46%, and official time is 9.45. We'll say 9.45. Here we go. There we go. And we should see some charging happen here it takes a few seconds to load so there you have it we're all charging up over there and uh we'll see we'll see 9 45 is our start time Okay, first day of work is officially over. It was almost exactly five hours. It was mostly just training and uh, and getting like my food handler certificate and uh, <clears throat> like filling out uh, tax paperwork and that kind of stuff. It's now currently 2.43 and so we're gonna check out the goal zero. All right, so it went from, let's see, 46% to 78% in five hours. So that is 33% in five hours. And we have 22% to go. And I think we're kind of at like peak, peak hours right now. So I'll uh, let you know when it finishes up. All right, final count for the day was 92% on the battery. Um, we're, we're out of direct sunlight here. So uh, that's all we're getting for today. But um, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Like what, what took me about two weeks to discharge took me um, like nine hours to uh to charge back up with a 160 watt solar panel um i don't know um if i'm getting the full full range of draw from my solar panel because even even when i checked at midday it was only pulling in like uh, 75 watts and there's a 160 watt solar panel um, and i think i could probably get a little more out of it um but pretty impressed with uh with that a lot of power in just one day Okay, so it has been officially 24 hours since I plugged this thing in almost exactly. Um, and we are looking at, sorry, everything's a mess, 95% right now. If you recall, it started at 46%. So we had 49%. We're going we're gonna to round it up, call it an even 50% in 24 hours, which is great news for me because uh, I definitely don't go through 50% of charge in a day. Um, even if I'm charging up my laptop and camera batteries and everything, I think I'd probably hit like maybe 30% charge off of it in a day. And that's like the absolute maximum. So I have more power than I need, uh, more power storage than I need, um, and more than enough supply of power through the solar panel. 
hopefully I, this this was informative to me it gives me a good good sense of uh, how much power I actually have and what I can consume hopefully it was uh, informative to for you as well if you own or are thinking of getting one of these Goal Zero Yeti uh, battery packs. Keep in mind, mine is the lithium ion version, um, so it can be depleted down to zero, whereas if you get the the AGM or, or Deep Cycle one, uh, it can only be depleted to 50% without damaging it. Um, but yeah, great experiment, great results, I would say. Thanks for watching.